What's up everybody? I'm Chef Matty B and today we're at TA in Kitchener. We're gonna be cooking something on a stick and by that I mean we're using rotisserie to make the biggest kebab in the world. So we got some picanha cut up. We're gonna use some whole tomatoes, whole onions, whole peppers. We got the broil king here with the new IQ. We're gonna use its rotisserie feature to get that low and slow cook on that and give us a delicious massive kebab. First thing we gotta do is get the rotisserie lit and get the IQ set so that it's gonna maintain that perfect temperature for us throughout the whole cook. So with the IQ, very simply, we're just gonna take the rotisserie knob, we're gonna turn that over to the IQ, we're gonna click light on that, but now to get the IQ to take control, we're just gonna click in on the middle button and set our temperature. I'm thinking for this, we're gonna cook at about 350, a little higher heat, so we can set that to 350, another click, and it's gonna maintain that temperature for us. We're not gonna have to worry about it, we don't have to fiddle with knobs, the computer's taking control, Nice consistent heat for us. Now it's time to get our skewer built, just like you would any other kebab, except this time we got a big rotisserie stick. We're gonna start off, get a tomato on there, instead of cherry tomato. We got a whole fine tomato, and then we got this picanha cut up. Then we'll hit it with a green pepper, another piece of picanha, nice big onion. And I think it's safe to say that that is, if not the biggest, one of the biggest kebabs I've ever seen. Now we can get it loaded onto the rotisserie and get it spinning. And now that's loaded, last thing to do is click on our rotisserie and let it spin. And we're gonna leave that to the IQ to maintain that perfect temperature and get us that wonderful cook. We're gonna come out here, we're gonna brush it down with a little barbecue sauce too as it cooks. That way we don't have to worry about it drying out. We're gonna get some awesome flavor in it. Now we've had this kebab cooking for about an hour now. It's time to hit it up with some barbecue sauce. So I got some of Big Sid's cherry barbecue sauce that we sell here at TA in a Broil King basting set. And we're gonna give this guy a little brush down. Now today, we're using the new IQ on the Broil King grill to cook this rotisserie. The IQ can do way more than just that. So it's got settings for smoking, slow roasting, and searing, and it even has RVG lighting for all your handles and inside of the cooking chamber. But it also connects to a smartphone, which means that you don't even have to be at the grill to adjust it. You can change the temperature from inside, or if you're having a dinner party, spend that extra time with your guests. That way, you're spending less time in front of the grill. Our kebab's been spinning for about an hour and 45 minutes now. I think it's time to take it off see how it's looking. So we're just gonna flick off the rotisserie and we can turn off the IQ back burner as well. Now, just gonna slide it off and cut it all up because you're not gonna eat a kebab this big, but it's a great way to do a kebab for a whole party all at once, right? We got an entire board full of food here, but now we got these tomatoes we can cut up into little wedges. Look at how soft and tender those are on the inside there, that's looking great. We got our peppers, those are nicely roasted. Cut that up into wedges, throw that on a throw that on a pita or something. And then of course, we got the onions. A little undercooked in the middle. If you're trying this one out at home, maybe cut your onions a little smaller. We were just having fun, seeing how it goes. Probably throw those back on the grill. And the beef, of course, the main attraction. Get that sliced up here. And we got a couple pieces here that are a bit more cooked. We got a couple pieces that are a bit less cooked. So there's a little something for everybody. It's kind of the joys of doing something like this is everybody gets to have a little bit of whatever they want and it's super easy, all done at the same time. But I say enough talking and let's give the meat a try. Oh, that's super juicy. And that barbecue sauce is amazing on the outside. I mean, outside of the onions, I would say that worked out fantastic. And if you got a rotisserie at home, you should definitely try that out. Again, maybe just cut your onions a little bit smaller or par cook them a bit before you put them on the rotisserie. But that's a fantastic idea. You should definitely try it out at home. 